back with that weird intro. This quote obviously applies to the episode in that Ahsoka's conviction saves the day, but overall it definitely applies to Anakin too, who at this point is still pretty blue in the gills when it comes to being a Jedi, but just wait, you're gonna see that Vader creeping in. But seriously, it's conviction that drives him to save Padme in the end, just like Obi-Wan's that keeps him on the path of the Jedi despite arguably worse circumstances. The Jedi Council sends Master Plo Koon to hunt down the menace. Why does Yularen sound so much more, I don't know, somber in this one? The last one he was normal. I guess this is a darker episode though, but I don't think this really ever happens again. Man, the animation is rough this season. I know I say it all the time, and I'm not trying to knock on it. There are some pretty beautiful shots in the first season, but there is definitely some shots that really make me want to see a doctor. I think it wise to report our position before we attack. Skywalker's fleet is nearby. Perhaps he can reinforce us. Skywalker's always ready for a fight. So I've heard. They did a great job developing Plo Koon a bit more. This is Dave Filoni's favorite character, so it makes sense. He's pretty similar to Qui-Gon at times in that he's going to have your back and play the cool father role in front of other Jedi if you need him to, but we see that towards season five. Kotoya, Master Plo. Kotoya, little Soka. What Ahsoka actually says to Plo Koon is Kotuya, and it's actually a form of greeting in his people's native language, the Keldor. That was a small little detail, and if you know it, it really does a lot to show you later on in the series just how much love and respect Ahsoka holds for him. It gives you the impression that she actually knows Plo Koon kind of better than Anakin does. He is the Jedi that found her, and yeah, that father comment earlier, that was in reference to Ahsoka, you smart one. You caught that. We have to go help him. We have to see what the Council decides first. Remember, be mindful and speak only when spoken to. Don't I always? When you watch this entire series, God, it really shows how great her character arc was handled. She didn't sit well with me at first at all until about season three when I was watching it from season one to the end. Master Skywalker, have you had any success in finding General Grievous's secret weapon? Master Plo is here in the Avogadro system when we lost contact. It almost sounded like avocado. Prepare for battle. That's a sick fucking shot, man. This will be a suitable test for our new weapon. You may fire when ready. Never heard that before. You may fire when ready. 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 It's like poetry, so sort if of they rhyme. <laughs> It may not look like it, but this thing is massive compared to a Republic ship. Also, this is technically the first time we see Grievous, and they definitely dropped the ball on this character. Sorry, I don't care what you tell me, I'll refer you to the original Clone Wars series, Grievous. Like, look at these two intros. unfortunate. How is this the same thing? Fire! It is pretty cool that this is like a one-for-one -one comparison to A New Hope, though. Brace for impact! We're losing all our power! This is fucking ruthless. I want all of those life pods destroyed. The absence of distress beacons indicates that his fleet was... That his fleet was destroyed like the others. As in clone intelligence reported this weapon never leaves any survivors. Tragic are these losses, but prevent more. We must. The power grid is burned out. So we'll just sit here and hold our breath. This is actually Boost. He's a clone we've seen before, just casually sitting in the mess hall back in episode two. Well, our episode two. And this guy we see in the Clone Wars movie. For some reason he chose gray hair. I dig it. Let's get the power restored. So we are here to be found. The blue in this shot is a stark contrast to the red in the other shot, which kind of symbolizes how they're the only hope in their most desperate hour. Just subtle hints and atmosphere like that are awesome, and this show's really good at it. I'm afraid we can't risk any more ships with a rescue mission. Just because there haven't been any survivors before doesn't mean there won't be any this time. Many months later. I did my duty as a citizen. <laughs> I'm sorry, citizen. Boldly spoken for one so young. She is learning from Anakin. Excuse my Padawan. Come on, Ahsoka, you had one job. Ahsoka! I don't understand why- What you don't understand is Jedi protocol. Admiral, I'll scout ahead for enemy activity. Isn't that risky, with the mystery weapon out there? It might be, but I know you won't argue my orders. Come on, Snips. 
The air in here is getting a bit stale. It's a boost, sir. He only takes a bath when he's on leave. Save it. Do you think we've got a chance, General? I don't believe in chance, Commander. The designs on Plo's breathing apparatus are actually pretty damn intricate. Dude's got style. Strategically, it doesn't make any sense for someone to come look for us. If I was in command, I'd be hunting that weapon down. I value your life more than finding that weapon. Fuck, man. Plo Koon is such a badass. It's cool that him and Yoda both value their clones this much. And don't feel afraid to convey it either. I gotta imagine these men had a hard time with Order 66 too. Like, just imagine the clones in Mace Windu's unit. We don't get to see them interact too much, but I'm sure Plo's probably like him better. If they just kind of shot them down, that'd be one thing. But this? Jesus, that's what my nightmares are made of. Someone busted that pod wide open. Admiral, how goes escort? No sign of enemy activity. And where's Skywalker? The general felt a redeployment of this fleet would increase our defensive perimeter. In other words, doing whatever the fuck he wants, baby. I love how you can see Rex hesitantly react when Admiral Ularen says this. I can totally make out his face under there just by the slight movements. This is also something they do really well with Din Djarin, in my humble overanalyzing opinion. Modulate for incoming mystery weapons. Tune the scanners for life forms. Why would we scan for life forms? The Obrigado system. <laughs> So it's okay when you don't follow what the council says. Doing what the council says? That's one thing. How we go about doing it? That's another. This line has always stuck out to me. It's a huge moment of growth for Anakin, and it instantly reminds me of Qui-Gon. I really do think deep down that if Ahsoka never left the Jedi Order, Anakin's fall wouldn't have happened, at least not as fast. Maul would have pretty much been business as usual, so chances are things would have played out pretty much the same there, but I don't know, man. Big rabbit hole to go down there. No, that's not it. This one goes there, that one goes there. This one goes there, that one goes there. It's like poetry, so if they rhyme. We don't want to make things worse. How are we going to make things worse? When you ask for trouble, you should not be surprised when it finds you. Is anyone out there? It's one of our other pods. They must be close by. Go get them, boys. These fucking construction worker lights, like really? In the vacuum of space, you're telling me a digital droid needs this tiny fucking light to do this job? Let's cut this Open. See, the fact that this is a kid's show makes this okay. Like, there's no blood involved. But it's the adults who probably lose sleep at night realizing the gravity of this situation. <laughs> oh shit, get it? Ah, you fucking got it. <laughs> you know, technically, you wouldn't hear them screaming out here in outer space, but... What? I'm just overanalyzing over here! Things just got a lot worse. Ahsoka, we might find something you don't want to find. But I have to believe. How do you know Master Plo anyway? He's one of my oldest friends. It was Master Plo Koon who found me and brought me to the temple where I belonged. The way she says where I belonged is creepy as shit. I don't know, I just get some weird cult vibes, which isn't far off the mark. And I know the galaxy desperately needed Ahsoka, especially during a certain original trilogy. I think someone noticed we're gone. Where are you? Uh, we made a quick stop in the Abrogado system. A rescue mission, I suppose. It was my idea, Master Obi-Wan. Oh, I'm sure. Have you found any survivors? The Separatists don't want any witnesses. We need you, Anakin. I know, Master. We're on our way. I'm sorry, Ahsoka. <laughs> Artui thinks he's got something on the emergency channel. Artui is such a fucking great name. I think they see us. There's another pod over there. I wonder what song he's singing. Like, the Separatist National Anthem or some shit? It almost sounds like the Imperial March for a second. It is time to go. Where are you going, sir? Wolf, my boy, your eyes still in one piece, I see. Watch out for next season, but no pun intended. Outside, to destroy the enemy. I can withstand the pressure for a brief time. It might not be that obvious at first, but Plo Koon going out there adds to his character even more. Him knowing he can't be out there forever in space and fighting as long as he can really adds to how much he actually values the clones in his unit. That's good enough for me. Keep the communication signal alive. Why aren't we finding anybody? This looks like the last one. Hey, what's a Jedi doing out here? Can you imagine if we ever get to space warfare like this? Like, fuck that, man. I'm out. <laughs> Put the squeeze on them. Is there anyone out there? It's Ahsoka! Keep the signal alive, Commander! Sinker, your turn! This looks like it'd be pretty dope, though, for anyone that's not me. Eat laser clankers! They only sent one? And the survivors are putting up a fight! Another fine mess we've gotten into. Your sense of humor is improving. I never believed anyone would come looking for us. The council is furious. We couldn't just give up on Master Plo Koon. Please listen to me, Anakin. Return at once. Please, Anakin, listen. I got some cool shit planned for us in a couple years, but you're kind of fucking it up right now. 
Time to go, Ahsoka. We have to stay. I want to believe Master Plo's alive, but I, I just- I know he's alive! Ahsoka! Anyone else never get tired of hearing this fucking what? Why are you so certain no one is coming? We're just clones, sir. We're meant to be expendable. Not to me. Ready, tow cable? I'm sorry, Lucasfilm. You do some great things in the world and my life, but this noise, this noise is not one of them. Pressure suits offer some protection, but they require a medical frigate for recovery. Tell me, were there any survivors? We couldn't find anybody else. The hunters must have destroyed the rest. There's a massive vessel approaching. Shut down the power systems before they detect us. I love how Anakin's just kind of sitting here like, yeah, you guys got the buttons, I guess. Sorry, little guy. This is like the talking boot. We're picking up a faint signal from a droid. They're coming back. Are all the systems shut down? We forgot to shut off the medical droid. Code to your droid. What, seriously, does R2 speak your language now too? I thought C-3PO was the protocol droid. Enemy ship targeted, General. Fire! Also, is this the same exact shot that they used earlier? <laughs> this chase scene is pretty reminiscent of the asteroid field in Empire, actually. They run. How far do you think that thing keeps going anyway? The way they all stop and it gets silent as they turn and face Grievous with this lighting seems like some satanic ritual is about to begin where they just take him apart limb by limb until he's just like five organs on the floor. Thanks for getting us out of there in one piece, General Skywalker. You have my Padawan to thank for that? Come on, Ahsoka. I figured because of before... Ahsoka, through it all, you never gave up. But if I'm getting in trouble for this, you're gonna share some of the blame too. I can't get enough of these two. I'm glad even though there's still a lot of season one left, there's still so much good stuff waiting. Patron shout outs! Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't have any patrons. But I do have a Patreon now. If you guys are enjoying this and you wanna see it continue, it does help a lot. Ah, fuck it, you guys know the deal. But I only put a dollar for now because, well, I don't have really much to offer just yet, but I still wanna give a huge shout out to a few people. Hammer Kids, who is overanalyzing The Legend of Korra over on his channel and he's killing it right now. Check it out if you're interested. Links down below. Also, a quick thank you to a few of my subscribers who've been here from episode one. Destroyer Doom, Jaden Brashier, Mr. Spata Fano, Hobbers, Theo Brown, Isaac, Commander E, Edo SL, Not a Colon, Lag, Logan Buckley, Cicerlo, Rodrigo, The Nerd Guy, Water Dog, The Phoenix King, The Third Bird, Kyle MK17, and Bendy. Dear God, sorry if I mispronounced any of those, and sorry if I missed anyone. I fucking love all of you.